Guys, we have us a call back here. This customer where I was working the other day and worked on her heat strips on this heat pump. She called back and said it was cold last night and said it's cold in the house. So let's go see what's going on. Stay tuned. Knock, knock. Hey, it got cold on you? <laughs> yes, it did. Uh, let me see. You said it ran for several hours? Right, you know you turned it off, right? No, it went off this morning. All right, right now it's turned off. Mm. Need to turn it on here. You know this. What is this for right here? That right there, that setting all the way over to the right, is for emergency heat. Mm -hmm. That is just going to bring on your heat strips. Mm -hmm. You want to put it on this middle right here. In fact, it's better if you just leave it alone mm -hmm. and adjust it with this up here with your temperatures. Mm -hmm. Whenever you need cool, you can switch it to the left. But if all you're using is heat, mm -hmm. just leave it right here and adjust. Adjust it with the red thing right there. Yeah, just adjust your temperature up and down as you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I imagine it's, seventy. Now. It's it's set on 79. That's what that temperature is right there. Mm -hmm. It's like I just put it on 78, mm -hmm. and it's 72 in the room. 72 in the room. Mm -hmm. It just kept going and going and didn't turn it off, and no heat, I guess. Hmm. So, was this in the middle of the night when it seemed like it was blowing cold? Mm-hmm. And sometimes it goes cold, like during the day, and it don't go off until we turn it off. It just keep going. And I hate to try to turn it off, you know, I want it to go off on its own. Okay. I'm going to go through and check things again and um, make sure everything's working. Please. I, I'm just not sure what it's doing. Um, I might have to spend the night with you. <laughs> Whew, that's cold. Coil is fairly clean. Let's open this up and look at our defrost control board and see if there's a, an adjustment we can make on it. Do have an adjustment right here it looks like it's on every 70 minutes which means this can ice up and 10 minutes of running and defrost may not be enough to thaw it out so what you're going to see me do right here is move that to 50 minutes And um, there's something else I want to test. We know that it does go through defrost. Oh no. 
Now, did I do that? Or, is, or have I, by accident, caused it to do whatever it's been doing? Sound like the contactor just pulled in and out. I can get my meter real quick. Alright, I'm checking yellow to common right here. I do have a call. Did I do something to make it lose a call? Right now I'm tightening up these little wire nuts. These little things are tiny, these gray wire nuts. Speed up the timer. track or something right here in case I'm checking to see if we lose a call and I got my leads on yellow and common coming from the thermostat Basically, I'm just watching my meter here to see if I lose what is 25 volts. so tightly placed right around there I can't get to the I cannot easily get to that yellow just to pull on it and see if it's snug it's snug but that yellow you see right here and right here do not come from right here. These are my thermostat wires. They, they come from over here. So I'm kind of waiting to see if this changes. And if it does it again, like on its own, on its own, because I may have caused it. And if I did, my problem may be something intermittent that is right in here somewhere. 
So I'm gonna watch this for a second and I'll bring you back, okay? Okay, that's not wavering. Not at all. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Hold on just a sec. Right, get away from this noise. Okay, um, it's been close to freezing the last couple mornings, enough to put ice on my windshield. And these traditional single stage, like 14 sear heat pumps like this, when it gets that cold, they don't produce much heat at all. Maybe a temperature difference of like five or six degrees. I'm talking about very little. And that feels cold when it's cold outside. So um, what I'm thinking is that the thermostat is getting close to set point and it's turning off the heat strips and relying on the first stage of heat, which is the heat pump and it is not warm so um that's what i think is happening i'm gonna look and see if i can program this thermostat to keep the second stage on until it satisfies if not i have a thermostat that can do that okay i'm going to show you what it's doing it's been like five minutes and i'm already up to 78 in here i don't know if you can see this but right there oops I didn't mean to do it. It was it was on stage one. So when it's on stage one, it's relying just on the heat pump, and that's what I thought it might be doing. Let me see if I can program that to not do that. All right, let me see. I'm gonna try to get me a manual for this. see if there's a dang it model T725 T725 manual alright here we go This is what I'm looking for. Press menu button, press tech set and hold for threes. Menu, tech set and hold for three seconds. F1, filter change reminder, next step. Room temperature calibration, next step. Compressor cycle rate, next step. Alright, I'm on cool swing, heat swing, heat set point limit. This feature allows you to set a maximum and no cool set point limit. I am going to change that. Fahrenheit, 12 hour. Previous step is 12 hour. Come on, we're, here we go. Next step. Pro recursion. Sorry. That is on. That's pro recovery. Program options. I'm not going to change anything. Heat pump on. Dual fuel auxiliary heat pump off pan operation emergency heat stages okay this feature controls a number of heat stages I mean hold a second previous step here we go this feature controls a number 
Good morning. Satisfying. This feature allows thermostat to keep multiple stages of heat energized until set point is satisfied. You want that to be on. That's what we're changing. Alright, so now stage one and two will stay on until it satisfies the thermostat. Alright, so that's a really nice option on those Pro One thermostats. I don't think I can do that with the Honeywells. Um, I do not remember having that option. But um, in the past, the only way, forgive me, before you could control that with a thermostat, the only way I was able to deal with that was to use two relays to bring on the heat strips. One to bring on the heat strips when the yellow was energized and one to turn it off when it was in cooling. But that meant the heat strips were on anytime the heat was on. And yes, I had customers that would pay me to do that. But being able to um, make sure the heat strips stay on until the thermostat is satisfied, they don't mean it stays on all the time. It means once it brings on second stage heat, it's going to stay on until the thermostat is satisfied. And that's what that customer needed. I hope that fixes their problem. If not, I'll be right back out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.